Welcome back, everybody. We're back with the Santa's Rampage uh, vi vis vi Viscara cleanup detail. You did it. Viscara. Merry Christmas, motherfuckers! Merry Christmas! Happy Chanaka! Happy Chuhanaka! M uh, Kwanzaa Day... <laughs> Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa, indeed. Kwanzaa. So we're playing this game, um, yeah, and what we're going to do, since this game is kind of just... Uh, you know, mindless. We're just cleaning up after Santa murdered a bunch of elves and Mrs. Claus and all that shit. And we're the sanitation professional assigned right, to go right. do that. We're 46 years old. Our name is True. Why is our name True? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I didn't name him. So uh, so we're just going to be doing that. And since that's Brent is going to be cleaning up while yeah. we do it, uh, I figured let's do another big Q&A episode. We love doing the Q&As. Yeah. Um, and we have a ton of fucking questions that we haven't gotten to. Uh, oh, and shit. I'm playing this left-handed, by the way, which yeah. I was born left-handed, but I am not left-handed. So if it looks like Brent is <laughs> playing like a mentally challenged person... <laughs> it's because... He is a mentally challenged I am. person. <laughs> okay, so let me pull up some questions here. All right, all right. G-O-B massages. Oh, Let's go get a bucket. Let's get some massages in. I would love for a Christmas massage. Who's who's volunteering? Somebody, I know you're out there. Volunteer to massage oh, me. Damn it. Specifically on my shaft. I don't need this. Specifically on your shaft. Specifically on my shaft. I need a massage. A machaz. Okay. Um, exactly. Is that you stalling? <laughs> no. <sorry. laughs> I mean, yeah, Say exactly. random ass shit. Yeah, sorry. All right. I was looking for the question. So, um, Exeticlo, YT uh -huh, uh -huh. from Discord and also on YouTube said. What kind of music do you make slash perform? Also, hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Um, so uh, I guess that's mostly for me, but I'll we'll throw that question to you as well. Okay. But I'll go first. Um, I'm in three active music projects right now. One is a uh, industrial metal band called Despite Loyalty. One is a acoustic folk punk duo called Bait. And one is a uh, myself, my personal project, Brett Bit, where I make chiptune music. Yeah. And then I'm also starting up with uh, a couple of my friends. We're in the process of getting a new band together. Uh, bands for days. Yeah, that, well, that's the thing. That's what happens when you're a decent musician and also a reliable person. Damn, decent, is, he says. Uh, well. You're never decent. You're fuck indecent. You. Fuck you. You're so an indecent human Basically, if, if you're a reliable person and, and other band members can count on you. Those my fucking footprints? Yeah, you can't walk through the blood. Oh, my God. Uh, and if other people can count on you to, you know, make band practices. And, Towards the game. And make it to shows and, you know, pay your way through, um... Through, you know, like, fees and stuff. like <laughs> Through fees and through, stuff? <laughs> through band... Pay your way through fees? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that one. Look... Point it's a new one for me. <laughs> Point being is a lot of people ask me to be in bands with them because they know that I'm good for it. Okay. Uh, and we're starting up. So that band is, uh, I think you need to get a new bucket. Yeah, you, I noticed. You're walking bloody. Don't even, tr what um, are you, Bexy Gaming shut on, the hell on up. a fucking Christmas episode? Look. Calm um, down, bro. You know what I'm going to uh, do with this blood? Yeah. I'm going to go put it in here so it doesn't get all over the house. So so that band that we're working on is a, uh, a horror punk band called The Screaming Skulls. A horror punk? Horror punk indeed. So, how about you? What kind of music do you like to play um, and perform? Mm, I used to uh, do mostly metal, like yeah. heavy metal stuff. I've seen you do some shredding. Just drop that, drop that guitar down to a D, and then just basically you've already got ninety percent of the way there. <laughs> Are you talking drop D or, or yeah, it's full drop D. D? Drop D. Okay, just drop D. So drop it. D is pretty pretty. So that's some basic shit, boy. I know that's what I was saying. You're basically already there. <laughs> Did you not listen? You I gotta am. open your ears. I never listen. <laughs> I noticed. Okay, next question. Uh, uh, next question. Uh, 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 I did play jazz too, by the way. Oh, you did? Yeah. Really? On yeah. guitar? Yeah. Were you in jazz band? No. You just liked jazz? Yeah. You don't seem the type. I, uh, yeah, I know. Also, uh, keep in mind you can uh, you can pick up dead elves and like throw them in the fire and stuff. Why do they keep bleeding on me? Well, I don't know that they continue bleeding, but you can't just leave dead bodies out. You're the guy that's being charged. Wait, I'm supposed to put them in the fire? I think so. All right, let's try it. I mean, you got to dispose of them somehow. That's the only way I can think to get rid of them. <laughs> Maybe that's not. <laughs> it's having a little jingle in there. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, all right, yeah, there you go. That's how you do it then. What does this say? Uh, Slappy, Slappy, Sappy Littleton. Okay. Is that was that his that name? That was his ID tag, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, poor Sappy. Sappy's dead. Okay, next question from uh, Smog Baggins on YouTube. Schmaug. Schmaug. Schmaug Baggins. Um, question. What do you guys do before the recording session? 
He's probably asking that because uh, you le- we we like edit in like <laughs> random shit that happens by oh, accident yeah. before episodes. Yeah. Yes, it, see, he's, he's yeah, still see, spurting new blood. I see. Um, to be honest, we are both uh, full-time working men. Yeah. And um, our time to record is very scarce and uh, few and far between. Oh, God! Well, oh, come on, dude! Uh, so basically, when we meet up, I drive over to Brent's house. Yeah. And we don't do much aside from say what's up, maybe have a little, a little uh, uh, dick sucking. <laughs> and, then, and then, and then we start recording. We like to perform a technique known only as the sixty-nine semen slurp. What? Which we sixty-nine semen slurp? You never done that before? No, I I have not. No, that's what we do before we, <laughs> okay, before so, we record. Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. But uh, I also make sure whenever I I before we record. Yeah. Uh, first thing. I, oh my God, Brent! I'm not. I'm doing watch, this left-handed, watch dude. Watch your foot. You're not moving with your left hand. Uh, I'm rotating. It's it's very dis. All when right. you're used to playing first person shooters, all right. And you move with your left, and you 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 look with your right. It look <laughs> it's very weird. All right, I'll give you that one. Um, the one thing that I make sure I always do when I okay. when I come here. Okay, that's a that's a baby hand. Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> um, is I make sure to say hi to the cat and pet him. Yeah, because he true. gets upset if I don't uh give him some tummy rubs first thing when I walk in. Yeah, he's a very social cat. Yeah. And I usually go in and pat Monica on the head or something like that. But uh, in between episodes, we usually are joking. Yeah. That's why we wind up laughing yeah. at the beginning of a bunch of episodes. Correct. Uh, but yeah, we we since we have day jobs and everything, we don't really hang out like a lot. Yeah, it's, uh, outside it's sad. of this because yeah. life. Yeah, we go get food sometimes. Yeah. Uh, if it gets to the point where this can become our full time job, then you better believe we're going to be hanging out a lot. Yeah. But, I uh, mean, technically, we 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 do hang out a I lot because there's a lot yeah. of episodes. I'll, I spend more time with you than anybody else <laughs> yeah. I know. So <laughs> yeah, it's but not I'm an sad. outside. I'm an outside. It's not yeah, sad yeah, yeah, or anything. Yeah. It's I mean, we meet up two or three times a week. Yeah, and our recording sessions are usually at at least three hours. That's more than I met up with anybody. Yeah, before. yeah. I think probably the only person you spend more time with is Monica. Yeah, and um, that's sad. <laughs> Okay, what? Next. <laughs> Piece of shit! <laughs> you, you dumbass. Uh, okay. What? Next. No, <laughs> you're fine. He, that's not the right word. Look, man. Okay. Next question. <laughs> Just throw out. <laughs> insert random ass <laughs> insult. Look, I'm trying to segue here, oh, okay. and you keep fucking calling me out. <laughs> I'm ruining the segue. New, new, uh, <laughs> new question from Dohia oh. Novak. <laughs> On YouTube. What's up? What's up, Actually, I was, or I, was pre- uh, I was pretty excited about her question, so I'm, I'm yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah, this is a good one. Um, what was your first porn? Yeah. And, and also, what was your first job like? But we'll start with the first porn. All right, first porn. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to answer this one. Okay. I was like 10 or 12 or something. Okay. And I went on MindSpace. MindSpace. My, MySpace? Yeah. Okay, this is the first... This is my first introduction to porn... Um, Outside of like some magazine that I accidentally saw passing by some people. Okay. Uh, it was I went I was I was going on MySpace. MySpace yeah. And uh, there was this porn that someone just commented because you know it just links right in there and embeds sure. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they commented it was a couple of Japanese girls inside of a bathtub of shit and piss. Oh. And they were just going at it. And that's that's how I was wow. introduced to it. Well, because, I'm uh, not gonna top that. But go on. <laughs> that, was, damn it. Oh, damn it, dude. <laughs> that was basically my introduction to wow. porn, uh, and it scarred me. I, I believe was, it. I was like, well, nothing can, I, nothing that I can watch. Yeah, is really gonna, you know, be worse than this. So yeah, that might explain your lack of uh, hypersexuality uh, <laughs> in adulthood. <laughs> oh please. Um. So <laughs> <laughs> that explains my problem with sexuality. Yeah. There you go. My um, my first porn was a '80s porn called wow. Naughty Nanette. Um, Nanette. Yeah, it was Nanette. one of my one of my friends. Man, this is an all day game. I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna do a bunch of Q and A's. It's, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, Plays this game. It was fun. it was my friend's dad's uh, DVD uh-huh. that we found, and uh, we were like, "Oh, it's a porno," but we didn't really know what a porno was. <laughs> uh, we were probably like nine or ten. Niner Niner. Yeah. It's about the same age for every guy. Yeah. You you clean up the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we put it in, and I he he knew what he was watching, actually. He was a bit more... Uh, well-versed? Vers- vers- yeah, well-versed. well-versed. That was the word I was looking for, yeah. Dad's porn. Yeah, but um, I was confused. I didn't realize what I was looking at. Like, I saw, like, the dick going in the girl, <laughs> but it was, like, it was one of those weird, like, undershots 
where like you just see like in between their legs from underneath them. And oh. I could I couldn't figure out what I was looking at because I'd never seen a vagina from that angle before. Like I'd only ever seen just like front vagina, just like on accident. Front vagina? Yeah, just like, like what is front vagina? Like because the, it's kind of under her. No, well, yeah, that's the thing. Like front vagina is just like the pubis. So oh, like, okay. So like in a you just saw like the the just the front. Yeah, part. like this yeah. was the first time that okay. I'd seen okay. the labia and the you know. <laughs> Don't get all technical. On I'm me. just Go saying. On. I'm just saying. I never knew that's what vaginas looked like, so okay, I was confused. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, I thought it was, I, he, she was taking it up the butt. I was like, oh, that must be what her that's butt. How, that's how you have sex. Yeah. That explains. the butt. Explains your sexual tendencies. Yeah. Go but on. But then my friend explained. No, that was it. And oh. I, I tried to find, because the thing is, when I saw that, it was like the most mind-blowing thing in the world to me. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, this is like some next level shit. <laughs> um, I've been trying to find that video. That exact one? Yeah, so that I in can see. In the world of porn? You yeah. know porn makes up like 70% of the exactly, internet. Exactly, that's so why I want to find no it. There is no fighting. I want to find it and be like, wow. For what, nostalgia? <laughs> well, kind of. I want to see it and be like, wow, I can't believe that there was ever a time that I thought this was like oh. the most ridiculous thing ever. Like, Just go look at softcore. Yeah, I guess. You just look at any softcore. Well, no, it was it was worse than like I was watching a penis go into a vagina. Oh. Like it was it was not softcore. Okay. It was naughty Nanette. If anybody has like a link to the eighties porno, naughty Nanette. Well, you I'd remember the name? Yeah, that's what I told Shit, you. The moment I click away from the webpage, the name is wiped from my mind. I was well, just like, well, what well, no, but it was a DVD. And then you come back and you're like. That was the name of that one again? Oh, believe me, that's happened so many times. <laughs> like, and damn then, it, what the fuck? And then, like, two years later, you stumble on it again, and you're just like, ah! And then you write it down, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> this not going to forget this shit again. my brain again. And then, <laughs> and then you're nut, and you're like, I don't need this paper. Yeah, fuck? it's like, god damn it, this shit was the it's worst. an endless cycle. Yep. Okay, Um. so, uh, second part of that question, what was your first job like? Uh, my first job? Yeah. First job is in, like... Just day job, probably. I'm assuming because that's talking a about, like, that's a huge like jump. Yeah. Well, she said, "What was your first there. porn?" And what was your, um, well, she wrote, she wrote first Joe. Like, I'm assuming that she meant to write job. Yeah, or it could have meant it could be a sexual thing. We could be sounding like noobs right now because we don't know what it means. Like, I mean, hand Joe. Yeah, it could have been like hand job or blow job. Joe or I could talk about my first hand job. Okay. Should I tell that story? I mean, if you want to. I mean, uh, that'll be the answer for this question. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I mean, it's a more interesting story than uh, yeah. my first um, actual job. Same for me. Uh, my first hand job was I was a virgin, and I was 14 years old, and I somehow befriended these two uh, very mature <laughs> girls who I'd were... I imagine you'd be a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Thanks for the description. Well, I'm just, no, go, just go. saying, uh, <laughs> I was 14. <laughs> Are you sure this actually happened? <laughs> it you've did, never it had, did. You've never had it. You're like, oh, I was uh, a virgin. <laughs> Well, no, I was, I'm okay. just saying, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously, because you can have sex before you have a hand job. Yeah, I guess. Um, be a weird. So I befriended these two girls yeah. who were, who were 16. They were older than me. Um, but I guess just because I was like big and I was a bit more mature than the other guys my age. So, like, yeah. I became good friends with them. And one day we were all chilling on the roof of one of their apartment. And, um. On one of their apartment. One of their apartments. <laughs> we were on the roof and they were smoking cigarettes. I was not because I didn't like cigarettes. Of course. Um. But then randomly, one of them was just like, have you ever touched a vagina before? And I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, that's uh, what kind of segue do you got to go? You ever, yeah. uh, you ever touched a vagina? Yeah, well, that's why there was like no lead into it, but I was just like, uh, no. Um, but the funny thing about that was that was her segue, but I didn't actually touch either of their vaginas that day. Okay. But it was just that kind of opened up like a sexual conversation. Oh. And then I mentioned that like, I was very, like I hadn't done anything yet. Like I'd kissed girls or whatever. Uh, and they were like, okay, well, you know what, like, we can change that. And so... <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's fix that. Yeah, and I'd also like to point out that one of these girls had had a baby at that point. Okay. So these were very, like, sexual girls. Okay. Uh, and yeah, so they both were there, and I got a dual hand job from two girls nice. at the same time. And it was uh, it's pretty mind-fucking-blowing for 14-year-old me. That's pretty And great. then I didn't have anything sexual happen Did to me. Did you not... For do anything with them? Like, no, well, that's the thing. That no, no, that, I didn't know what the fuck to do, and man. They were twin sisters, and they were princesses. They weren't twin sisters. They were friends. <laughs> they were princesses. Yeah, and then no, actually, no, no. I'm not. I'm not going to go into the second part. But um, oh, okay. Point being, it was it was pretty surreal, and I didn't do anything sexual again for two years after that. Okay. When I actually lost my virginity. Interesting. Which is a whole other story. I was dressed as Nick Jonas, and it was Halloween. It was a, it was a fucking it was an insane night. All right. Do you want to talk about your first hand? Well, job? mine's not as epic as a dual hand job. Okay. Cool. 
Uh, it's just, you know, you get a girl. I don't remember when it was mm-hmm. exactly. Uh, but you get a girl, and uh, what happened? She she was curious, obviously. She's yeah. never done anything. Sure. I never did anything. So super curious, and uh, kind of went and uh, went a little too far. Okay. Um, she kind of lost her virginity on that one. Oh, Jesus. Not from sex. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Well, yeah, I know, right? All right. That is a little too far, right? Yeah, wow. <laughs> cool. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's how I remember that one because I was like, wow. Yeah. That's how she's going to remember yeah. losing her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, boy. that sucks. Yeah. Uh, oh, poor girl. I know. Yeah, you need a new bucket. I, I hope uh, that's a skull. Yeah. I, 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 I really hope that that person actually, the Dohia actually meant to ask about our first job and we just talked about our <laughs> hand jobs instead it's, for, it's likely it's, okay real yeah. quick first job first this, actual job i worked for a bleacher company i set up bleachers uh first actual job um i was pretty i was pretty late in the jobs because because mm-hmm. uh, because a bunch of things so yeah. uh my first job was at a hotel place where oh yeah i remember you telling yeah, me about this i like booked hotel stuff i wasn't on a, i was at a call center for hotels uh-huh um, but I didn't like book things. I, I kind of just did data entry. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's pretty boring. Yeah. There was a duck pond though. I mean, that's a pretty... I made friends with ducks. I was going to say, that's a pretty good entry job, dude. Working at like a fucking call center. And yeah. That's usually, you need like experience to do that. Yeah. Well, data entry. I mean, anybody yeah. with a couple hands should be able to do that. I got a couple hands. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do with those. Uh, all right. Next question. Ne- this is going to be a really long episode. Yeah. We'll do two more. I mean, it's, it's our Christmas special. I want it to be a bit long. Okay. Um, from Cordial Hair, Cordial okay. X Hair, excuse me, uh, a contributor sent, where do you guys see Gamer Bust, Gamer Bust community? Actually, no, hold on. We're going to save that one for last. Sorry, Cordial Hair. We're going to get that last. Um, oh, so instead, the question from here to help, parentheses, Adrian, uh-huh. who's fairly new to our community, but has been fucking awesome so far. Yeah. Um, how do you guys feel about people comparing you to Game Grumps? I can understand both sides where that would be both frustrating or praise. Uh, I'm sorry if this is something you'd rather not discuss or you would just prefer to avoid this topic. I was just curious, and hopefully this isn't bothersome. It's not bothersome. Uh, We're not trying to avoid the topic, and we will answer it happily. Uh, We're both huge fans of Game Grumps, Yeah. and it's an honor that people compare us to them. Uh, I don't really see it. I think that we have our own comedy style. Yeah. Uh, I think they're much better at improv. I think we're a bit more zany. We're, uh, what is it, raw? Yeah, yeah, fun. yeah. We're just like, <laughs> and go. <laughs> press pl- press record and go. Yeah, yeah. So, I've got no life stories. Let's make this work. <laughs> yeah, so the answer is we're, you know, we're honored. And it's yeah. fucking crazy that people would even compare us to to such a beloved uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, But, I mean, fucking keep them coming, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's awesome. Um, I, I enjoy it. And... Um, I may not watch as much Game Grumps as like you do, yeah, because I watch them offhand with Monica all the time, yeah. But um, I really like them, yeah. And I've noticed that they have changed and stuff, so I, yeah. I get where people come from when they say that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. We had some people say that like I don't really like what Game Grumps is anymore, and you guys are kind of filling that gap. I think what they're saying by that is like we're we're like OG, like the the raw old. Game yeah. Grumps, which I like even better. Which JonTron era? Yeah, well, not really or just JonTron, just like Andy. early, like JonTron and post JonTron. Yeah, and I think uh, I think that is is also like a, a secondary compliment because it's like the OG. Yeah, that's style, true. Which I like. I really yeah. like their their more raw, like random stuff. Yeah, but then that kind of answer it scares me for the answer for the next one of where do we see Gamer Bust in five years? Because well, probably people are gonna be looking at the next channel and saying, I wish you guys. Or you guys remind me of Gamer Bust in the early days, and now Gamer Bust are fucking sellouts, and they don't want to cuss in their videos. <laughs> no, we... <laughs> uh, we're never going to stop cussing in our videos. Yeah, that's ridiculous. We have our own website. If YouTube doesn't let yeah, us, we're just going to upload to our like, website. Like, it's not about just the money. Yeah. If, if we wanted money, then we'll we'll do extra stuff. Yeah. Like, there's many, many, many different ways you could do that. You yeah. don't need to, like... Fuck up your your content that everyone likes. We've just to, gotten like... offers for brand deals that we've turned down. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know how real they were, but still, point being, we're not in this for the money, guys. We promise. And I, so, what do we see ourselves in five years? Yes, from Cordial as Hair. you as you may have noticed, we are vastly different than a lot of YouTubers mm-hmm. in the department that 
Um, our primary focus is on our community. I'm just throwing away bodies right now. Yeah, that's Our fine. primary focus is on the community. Yeah. If you haven't noticed. It definitely uh, is, We, yeah. like, push a lot for the Discord. We I write a bunch of, like, uh, bot stuff and mm -hmm. software and the website. Yeah. Uh, Brett's on Discord even more than I am because yeah. uh, he has a uh, more interesting life. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, well, you uh, you're you're on more than yeah. I am, so yeah, yeah. it kind of balances out. Where I'm like trying to build this stuff for the community, so yeah. that it builds better, and he's putting in all this extra effort to like be a part of the community and make sure everyone feels like you know we're there. Yeah, and uh, you know, in five years, I expect that to be the same exact way. I don't care if there was like a million people watching and a million yeah. comments, and that's hard to keep up with. Yeah, um, the fact of the matter is, like, software can definitely accelerate a lot of stuff like mm -hmm. even if there was let's say one day i got a hundred thousand comments yeah uh since it's going to be on a video that is very specific uh-huh like it's a video about some something i don't know about a lamb's leg yeah. then like which that video is coming guys yeah. wait, just <laughs> wait for it <laughs> uh, that's, that's gonna be our 20k subscriber special you you can basically write software to find maybe a bunch of questions that are common uh -huh. and then you have yourself right there a bunch of common questions so you can probably boil the whole thing down to like 50 unique actual questions or yeah. stuff yeah and in a way answer everybody who kind of felt that way yeah. whether you whether uh, we answer in a video or we answer a few comments in a specific way or something like that there's there's always a way that you can kind of curate a bunch of data together yeah and on top of that you know we're gonna keep doing the like community live streams and stuff and that's that's exciting for us because i want us to be a channel where we can have a community podcast um with all of you guys and you get a chance to speak on our podcast and then when we're bigger you, you like someone can go to their friends at school and be like i was on gamer bus podcast last night like that's fucking awesome yeah. so not only do we have people like feeling cool about themselves that they Got to, you know, uh, participate in this, like, awesome, unique moment. But also, you know, it spreads the word. Yeah. You get people actually wanting to talk to their friends and things like that. And that's really our goal, to be honest, is just to build this community to as big as it can possibly be. And to be honest, for all uh, for all the early people, yeah, uh, there's plenty of data to know who was first and who got here when. And, yeah. like, who joined. Main, the easiest one that's going to be able to be found out is uh, the people who joined Discord first. Like, the first... Uh, the yeah. initial people on Discord because uh -huh. Discord gives me that data in my bot. It can tell me. I could say, "Hey, when did give me everybody that joined before this date or something like that?" Or yeah. give me the first five thousand people that joined. Yeah, like it'd be really easy to pick out all the people who supported us way early on and joined mm -hmm. it and was a participant inside of the the community. Yeah. So if you're active, definitely a lot easier for for the code and stuff that I yeah. write to find you. And there was a good... So you're not going to be lost. <laughs> there was a good couple dozen of you there before I even got in. So. Yeah. Damn it. Can't yeah. tell you how weird it is to join my own Discord server <laughs> and have all the people be like, Welcome, Brett! <laughs> Welcome, Brett! <laughs> all right, well, anything else you want to say before we end this episode? I don't think we're going to clean up this whole room on this episode. No, I, this is impossible. This I, is like yeah, an all-day thing. Yeah, this is like a... This is a... This is one of those games <laughs> It's that you just play because you want a mindless thing to do all day. Like Yeah. Like, you know how hard it is to, to do this it's not hard at all well i mean damn it <laughs> i think this is just made to be janitor training to be honest it probably is like a, like a simulation yeah exactly because there's I mean, like this no is, time limit this is like there's the no christmas rush. variant of it but like the regular game isn't i don't think i don't think the regular game is christmas i think, I think it's just well a, there's other modes we this is story mode though so I don't but this is no this is specifically i bought the one that says uh santa's uh, uh, rampage. Oh no! I was saying that there's other there's other modes to this game. I don't know if there's like, you know, beat the clock or something. Oh well, Less, it said there was a, it said uh, there just, was a speed run. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. A speed Whatever. Run of this. Yeah. <laughs> was it wow. clocking at eight hours? <laughs> right. You work a full shift at my job in that time. <laughs> like, do you take out a bunch of buckets and then just like put them, place them all in places? And I guess. Count it and everything. Jeez. I like how we're just shit talking this game now. No, this game is. I mean, I I've actually been having some fun. Just, it's nice and casual, and it fits this yeah. this very well. That's also why I let you play it because, like, this is not my style of game at all. Yeah, like, I can't play this kind of shit. Like, I play really fast paced games, but I can also play super slow or like strategy. Or yeah, those kind of games. Not for me. I'd rather just talk. <laughs> and on that note, 
I guess um have a very merry Christmas. Very uh, merry Christmas. Kiss your kiss your friends and family for us. <laughs> kiss 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 your parents and yeah. your siblings for kiss, us. Yeah. And Tell them it's from Camera Bus. Yeah. Make <laughs> just, sure just, just go up to your parents on Christmas, kiss them on the cheek, mm-hmm. and then whisper. Gamer bus sent that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, got, you say uh you gotta say And those yeah, sorry, go ahead. Uh you, you gotta you gotta lick them on the cheek and say, Gamer bus sent me. Yeah. <laughs> And those of you who send us a video of doing that, um, we'll find out something to do. I'll I'll we'll, send we'll do something. The for that. first person, the first person to send me a video in Discord of you licking a sibling and saying that Gamer Bus sent you, or it doesn't have to be a sibling; it could be a parent. Uh, I will give you a free code, uh, Steam code for uh, Saints Row Four. And they have to be completely surprised. Yeah. They can't be... They yeah, can't, this like, can't be a stage thing. Yeah, you, I'm been, excited about this now. <laughs> they, you just got to go up to them and do it. And then say, Gamer Bros. Oh my god, okay. So hey, do you want Saints Row 4 on Steam? Yeah. Get licking. This, is all, <laughs> this isn't even a contest. It's know, whoever's just, first to send us a video. <laughs> this is just us trying to destroy a family. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thanks cool, for watching, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.